welcome to Number Wank, the exciting number-based game show. This week's prizes are... Assorted Animal Milk. Costa del Sulfur's finest wine drink. Gourmet dog food. A guitar. And a cuddly... Oh, no, it's a fish. Never mind. Good evening, Wang, and welcome to the game show that everyone, apart from people who don't watch the show, don't like the show, or aren't aware of its existence, are talking about. My name is Jay Hankin, and I'll be your host for the evening. Our contestants today are Julie, who is from Runcorn, and Simon, who is not. So, Julie, does Runcorn favour any particular numbers? Yes. Okay, cool. And uh, how about you, Simon? No. Great. Time for our first round. Classic number wang. Julie, to play first. 17. 86. 911,687.45. 12. 36. 12. 103. 12. 97. 12. That's number wang. Well done, Simon. That puts you leading with 18 points. Julie is trailing with 47. Now we move on to our second round, Takeaway Wang. Contestants must correctly guess what order the producer made from their local takeaway last night. Simon, to play first. Number 186, with a side of 47? Oh, I'm afraid not, Simon. Mm, a number 87 with extra rice? <sighs> Close, but no cigar. Extra hot number 46, but with a can of cola. Oh, oh, oh. Um, extra hot number 46 with two cans of cola. Uh, uh, uh. Extra hot number 46, served on a bed of number 94 with seven cans of cola, poured on top. That's correct. Our producer ordered an extra hot chicken ball tea, served on a bed of banana fritters with seven cans of cola, poured on top. Sounds delicious. <laughs> That's the buzzer. You all know what this means. It's time for our bonus round. We will display a number on your screens at home, and our contestants have to guess what that number is. They are 15 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, go. Um, 17, 86, uh, 49. Nine, 12, 62. Eight. 16. Uh, 19. 84. Mm, 27. Julie has done it. The number was in fact the number 27. Congratulations, Julie. That puts you in the lead with four points. Simon trails on 0.465 points. That brings the number wang round to a close. Next up, we have word wang. First up, we have imaginary words. Julie, to play first. Mm, fantastically. Obherent. Um, artistically. Dick Rector. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Simon, but Dick Rector is in fact a real island. It's a combination of the words dictator and director, a word that would be good to describe someone in a studio gallery. That means Simon loses two letters. Next up, we have a classic round of word wang. Mon to play first. Conglomerate. Mm, spectacle. Friendship. Hang. Correct. Mon has indeed got the correct answer, which means Julie loses two letters. Which means that Mon is in the lead with the word ale and Uli trails with comprehension. Time for a quick break. We'll be back. See you soon. Bargains, bargains, bargains at Takeo Express. Our family hamper of assorted meats, the one your grandma will love. Two ninety nine. A sack of extra organic moodly style pieces. One thousand yen. Egg pasta maker, only costing you two sticks, a stone and a shoe. Bargains, bargains, bargains! Takeo Express. Oh, that's cheap. Hello and welcome back to the second half of Number Wang. To recap the scores, we have Julie on 74 and Simon trailing with 86. So, Julie, uh, what do you do in uh, Roncon? Oh, um, uh, I'm a veterinary nurse. 
Fantastic. And Simon, what about you? My job is beyond your mortal comprehension. Fantastic, fantastic. Let's get on with the show. Next up, we have Colour Wang, where contestants must use all of their colour knowledge to answer these important questions. Julie, to play first. For our viewers at home, you can see the colour on your screens now. Julie, look at the TV and tell me which colour complements this colour here. Mm, uh, beige. Beige. I'm sorry, that's not right at all. Nothing complements beige, Julie, because it's a horrible colour! Simon, how many colours does the girl from McFly have in her hair? Um, is it 18? That is correct. The girl with 18 colours in her hair. What a classic song that was. Julie, how many colours can I see? Mm, two. Two colours, that's absolutely right. I can only see beige and maroon. What must my life be like? The question next is for both of you. Which of these is a colour-based term? Hue, Satsuma or Google Chrome? Is it Hugh Grant? Spot on, Simon. Hugh Grant is a colour-based term for a shade or colour itself. Personally, I go a deep shade of red whenever I have to watch one of his awful rom-coms. <laughs> Simon, final question of the round. We're going to show you an equation on the TV, and you have to tell us what colour is represented by that equation. But first, here it is for our viewers at home. Simon, what colour is represented by the following equation? Hmm. Is it mauve? Mauve? I don't know what that is, but the little voice in my earpiece and in my head tell me that's the correct answer, and that is in fact colour wang. Simon wins the round. And that noise, you know what that means. It's sudden death. Quickfire wang. Julie, Simon, for the sudden death round, I'm going to ask a series of quickfire questions. The scores are level, with Julie on 17 and Simon on 64. Whoever answers the most questions correctly will not only win the round, but the whole show. Right then, let's get started. First questions. How many affairs am I having? Is it 12? Correct. How many does my wife know about? Um, uh, 17? That's right. She knows about 17 of my affairs. How many criminal offences has Simon committed? Six. Oh, no, seven. Indeed, it is seven. Simon is wanted all over the world for stealing gone off food from supermarkets. And it's the end of the round. Simon got two right, Julie only got one. And that's bad luck, Julie. That means Simon wins the show with a total of nine points. Julie, if you could please make your way to the sterilization check lobby. If you could please make your way to the lobby. Go on. Get out. Go. I'm in the state of her, Simon. What is, what is this? Simon. I pronounce the king of number one. Long may you reign. We hope you enjoy all your wonderful prizes and you don't even have to steal them this time. That's all we've got time for this week. I'll see you again next week at the same time for another exciting episode of Number Wang.